All right, I'm going to try to do an overview to uh, better show how this FRX is for uh, big unit, a.k.a. Jackson. And uh, we'll start with how the guitar is set up. I've got uh, no light. Looks like about 2 millimeters at the 12th fret and 2.5 two and a half, three, depending on how shaky I am, to the bottom of the string on the low E, and high E is just over a millimeter, and right at a millimeter, if I can get this lined up right. So that's where the action is set. This is how the the uh, F4X is mounted. We've got the two two screws here that go into the uh, stop stop tail piece that goes in there. Your bridge uh, inserts play no role whatsoever in the uh, the setup and mounting of this. These set screws here sit on a pad right directly on the body. So that's going to be your how you tilt the base of the bridge up and down. Now, if you notice in here, you see that little piece of wire I got underneath there. That is because to get the action on this particular guitar as low as I want it, that screw has to be all the way down to stop from rattling. This thing, this thumb screw, if you don't have it locked either up to hold the bridge in place from floating, or down against the, the mount, that thing rattles and will drive yourself nuts. It also moves up and down, which can hinder you in playing if it moves up or damage the body here, in my case, if it goes down. So what I'm going to do next time I clean this up, take it apart totally, I'm going to put uh, some blue Loctite on that so it sits tight in there, but I can still move it and adjust it if I need to. All right. Now setup on these is the same as any normal any normal Floyd you have the two two knife edges that sit on the pins and that's where it floats same saddles same tuners same locking system uh, to get the intonation right you got to get that tool trust me it's well worth the investment if you have any Floyds this being my first one recently, uh, I have yet to buy one, but I will be getting one. Otherwise, you have to tune, detune, tune, detune to find the intonation. Now, that said, there are adjustments here in this slot in the back to get you further or closer. And if you notice, this bridge is almost pegged as far back as it'll go on this particular one. Now, if that gets pegged to the front of it, this will no longer pivot and it will hold this higher up front and have, allow for no adjustment in the tilt to get your string alignments and all that stuff. So, that said, for the intonation on this particular one, I barely got it there with it being as far back here on the low E string as possible. The rest of them are pretty pretty much normal and pretty close to what you would expect on any other intonation setup you know string gauges are different uh, I use lighter tops than or lighter bottoms than than most so that's why this is these two are almost equal to get the intonation but overall I like the bridge the the drawbacks being uh, for me are this thumb screw and just flopping around and, and for when you first get one and that starts buzzing you will drive yourself bonkers trying to find that so know that that is a issue um, as far as the trim bar and the adjustments I, I, I like this it's got the, the insert in there and it's got a set screw from the bottom and a set screw from the back 
So you can set your 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 angle tilt on 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 uh, the bar itself, and then use the bottom one to set how how tight or loose how you, you want it. I like mine hanging, so I keep it just loose enough to to give it a little bit of grab, but gravity will pull that down um, where I want it. So that is that. I will. Uh, do you uh, a play demo with a bunch of dive bombs and yanking on it and whatever, just trying to trying to see how much we can make it change or go out of tune. But this is your spring here. And I see a lot of people saying they're having problems with this uh, being at an angle and all that. There's a cup in there that that floats on, so that is not an issue. That that will move up and down as you move. As you move the, see how your spring actuates? And of course your, your spring tension adjustment is in the back here with a, uh, a uh, Allen key. So don't worry about that. That's, there's plenty of motion in there, plenty of movement for whatever you want. Now, the last thing to address is, here we go, is that little ball. That detent there rests in a V on the side of the bridge. You can see it right there. That's, that's what allows it to fall right back into, into place. Okay? Now, for some people, it may feel weird because there's a little there's a little extra effort to get past that but you get one you get used to it and two if if you don't want to do it or if you want to do like super trill you know let it get the, the buzzing there um, you can take that ball out um, it just means you got to be more more accurate with the, the spring tension set up here to get it to float where you want it or set it up as a a uh, single action not a not a floating so those are those are many options of of what you can do with this thing overall it, it, it's pretty well made chrome job could have been better I mean I've had it for a while now and I try to keep my stuff as clean as possible this one is uh getting a little dusty it's got uh the polish build up on here that i use that needs to be cleaned off again of course the oils and all but so far overall i've been liking it, it serves its purpose the only drawback like i said is uh that thumb screw and the weight this thing adds a bit of weight now, on the bright side, if you have a guitar with neck dive, this could potentially be a, a an aid to solving that with the amount of weight that's transferred to the back here. So, let me go make a play demo here and I'll put this video out.
So yeah, you can whip this thing around and all that stuff as long as you you get it back into where that it, um that little V is for that ball and get that all set up right. It'll come back. I mean. <laughs> like slight bends. Yeah, so, depends on if you set up right now. One of the things I think might be an issue with these things is a lot of people detune and if you're going with heavier strings, obviously this this little tiny spring in here might struggle with, with a, a, a higher tension to keep the heavy strings up off the neck. So that could be, with you tuning down a lot, uh, the problems that you're seeing in, in, in your uh, range of players and the music you guys do. So that might be something to consider too. Now I'm using 9 to, 9 to 46 is on this right now. I just switched from 9 to 42s because I couldn't get to 42s. And I did have to adjust this ball just a touch to compensate for that, that different uh, string tension. So just things to think about.